Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you guys? Hello, Sigfrido. Hello, Mauricio. Carlos Apesto, Edwin. Soy Bernardo, Juan Carlos. Eh, dice Ricardo. Hello, guys. Hi. How are you, Sigfrido? I'm oh, fine, as always. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, good, good. Um, let's see, let's see. Who's here? I only see names, but I don't see faces, so I don't know if you guys are here or not. Hello, Osman. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Edwin. How are you? Hello, hello, teacher. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Osman. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that, Edwin. How how was your day today? Yeah. Uh, what was it? Was it? Go ahead, ah. Edwin. In my case, teacher, it was... My day was... Hold on, let, let, hold on, let me, let me, let me hear Edwin, because I think he's having problems with the, the microphone. Um, Edwin, sorry, how was your day, did you say? So, my day was busy. So, I have, I have some meetings, and I finished my day tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Yeah. So today was meeting day. I see. Um, and it, is tomorrow going to continue being meeting days? No, tomorrow it is. Free. Oh, oh, good. Oh, you don't. You're not working tomorrow. Yes, but is the work is not uh, enough, and I work some hours. Okay, okay, that's good. Well, I'm, I'm glad you, your, your um. Your day tomorrow will be much easier. Okay. Good, good. Um, all right, Osman, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good because, uh, well, uh, will I, will I, 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 I live? <laughs> you what? I live. Uh, I, I alive. <laughs> oh, you're alive. Alive, yes, we're we alive. Uh -huh. uh, at at home with my family. Uh, the problem always the that is, but uh, mm. life is just like that. Mm -hmm. Life con continues. Uh, life goes on. In my job, mm, all, all, all fine, all good. Mm. In, in my in my job. Uh, always uh, a lot of meeting, uh, meeting with my boss and my team too. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, many activities, hmm. but uh, always, always, uh, how do you say, hacia adelante? Looking, um, going forward. Yes, looking forward. Going forward. Okay, good. Going forward. Yes. Excellent. That's that's a that's a good attitude. Very good. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Good for you guys. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, let's take attendance. Um.
Okay, we'll start with Ana, Ana Lorena Lobato. Present teacher. Wonderful. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Alberto Domingos Mar Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, I missed I miss somebody. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar Caballero. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar Caballero. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Thank you. Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Excellent. Ileana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Ileana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Jorge, Ant Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Um, Jose Bernardo, Lo Bernardo López Montes. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Um, Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñón. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Estoy, uh, I'm going backwards. Sorry. Uh, Jose, Car Jose Sal Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Oh, uh, are you having problems with your microphone, Jose Salvador? Okay, are you having problems with the microphone? Mm, okay. Okay, um, Josman Atilio Serrano. Josman Atilio Serrano. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Yes, Miss. Okay, wonderful. Eh, sí, es que no sé cómo le hace, pero siempre tiene luna llena. Es correcto. Ok, good. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present, I'm here. Teacher. Wonderful. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Vel Velázquez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Um, Osman Enrique Hernández. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. 
Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Um, Sigfrido Ernesto Gomez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Wendy Maricela. Irma Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present and good evening. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Y Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Y Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Uh, Amanda Leonela. And Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Okay. All right, guys and girls, uh, we are going to start our class. Give me a moment. Okay, please tell me if you can see my screen. You guys see my screen? No. Yeah. Yeah, you can see now? Okay. So this was the conversation that we were looking at yesterday. And uh, we were looking at these subordinate subordinates um, that show concession. Um, what what is concession? What did we learn is concession? You talk about yesterday that concession is the same contrast. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and yes, when when you hope that the, the thing happened, but it's not happening. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So concession, uh, yeah, exactly. So it's like a contrast or an opposite of what you expect to happen in the in the main sentence. So you're expecting something and something opposite happens. So to give you an example, um, maybe we can say, um, it's sunny outside. Oh, Peter said no. Um, even though it's sunny outside, um, it's still cold. Even though it's sunny outside, it's still cold. So you expect that if there's if it's sunny, at least at least in El Salvador, you expect that if it's sunny outside, it's going to be hot. But no, it's sunny outside. So uh, in contrast, it's still cold. So we can say, even though it's it's um, sunny outside, uh, it, it's still cold. Or I can say, although it's sunny outside, it's still cold. Okay. Um, does that make sense? Well, can you write that? Uh, sure. It is... Does that does that help? Oh, thank you. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Does that help a little bit, yeah? Thank you, teacher. Uh, I I I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand. Still, it's casi. No. Still. Sí. Still. Um. Still, I won't. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions? Sorry, guys. I forgot. I'm going to add this word to. Ah! Sorry. Let's, try, let's, let's start all over. So we could say, even though it is sunny outside, it's still cold. Although it is sunny outside, it's still cold. While it is sunny outside, it's still cold. Okay? So we can use any one of those. Okay. Yesterday, um, we were speaking, we were talking with one of the, uh, the participants that... Um, I understand that wild, is, wild is uh, a word that many times we could get confused with because it may feel that we're talking about a time, but we're not talking about a time. We're talking about a contrast. So while in, in Spanish can be translated as mientras, but it also can be translated as mientras que. It's like, for example, I can say, um, eh, for example, tú te acabas de comprar un auto nuevo mientras que yo um, no me alcanza para el bus. Okay? So, we are contrasting mientras que a mí no me alcanza para el bus. Okay? So, we are contrasting the fact that you just bought a new car with the fact that I don't even have enough money for the bus. So I can say, you just bought a new car while I don't even have enough money for the bus. Okay, so we're not we're not talking about time. We're not talking about time. We're talking about a contrast, a concession. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Hello? Do we understand this or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah, any other questions that you guys have? Okay, well, if there are no more questions, let's actually um,
So just to give you some examples, let's say while external factors play an important role in employee engagement, there is proof that intrinsic factors are of utmost importance. How would you say that in Spanish? Factores externos in Spanish? No, the, the whole idea. Well, external oh. factors. <laughs> how would you say that? Los, in, in Spanish? Yeah, Spanish. Mm. A pesar que los factores externos juegan un papel importante. Ay, sorry. A pesar, que, a pesar que los factores externos juegan un papel importante para engagement, engagement es eh, comprometer a los empleados. Eh, el compromiso eh, de los empleados. El compromiso de los empleados. Mm -hmm. There is a proof that intrinsic factor. Eh, aquí hay... Eh, um, constancia o, o prueba de, de factores intrínsecos que son importantes. Otmos, I don't know. Otmos, it's, like it's like saying de gran importancia. De gran importancia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so this is, yeah, exactly. So while it would, we say, we'd say that it's like mientras que, right? So We'd say that mientras que los, factor, um, los factores externos uh, juegan un, uh, un papel importante en el compromiso de los empleados, hay prueba que los factores intrínsecos son de gran importancia. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Let's go on to the next one. Although we pro we provided com uh, comm uh, commemorative gifts and freebies, the workers at the site kept complaining they wanted to have the day off. Would you say that? In Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Aunque ofrecimos obsequios y obsequios conmemorativos. Los trabajadores del sitio seguían quejándose de que querían tener el día libre. Mauricio, could you repeat that a little bit louder? Mauricio, do you want to repeat that a little bit louder? I repeat in Spanish. Mm -hmm. No, no, not in Spanish, in English. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. No, no, you're right. Like, um, so, uh, tell me what being, what the English, what this English sentence is in Spanish. Okay. In English, say, although we provide. So, so what is although? What is although? A pesar de. Mm -hmm. or, or aunque. O, aunque. Mm -hmm. Aunque. Aunque ofrecimos. Uh -huh. Obsequios. Eh, y obsequios. Okay, regalos. hold on, hold on. Commemorative gifts? Uh, commemorative gifts and free buy, free, free beef. 
What what is commemorative gifts? Eh, regalo. Regalos. Obsequio. Regalos qué? Y, y, I don't know. What is commemorative? Guys, everybody. What is commemorative? Like in Spanish. Uh, I think uh, one example is, uh, for example, a uh, Christmas gift. Uh huh. Commemorative because uh, we are um, uh, commemorando las fiestas de Navidad, for example. So we are remembering. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So so how would we say that in Spanish? Commemorativo. So, Commemorativo. Okay, so aunque aunque nosotros ofrecimos o dimos conmemorativos uh -huh. regalos. Regalos conmemorativos. Okay. A los uh -huh. y a los Free, free, free buys freebies. is the correct freebies was the meaning teacher. Sorry, freebies are like obsequios. Free, uh, obsequios. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so aunque nosotros dimos regalos y obsequios conmemorativos. Yes, very good. Aunque nosotros dimos regalos y obsequios conmemorativos. Los empleados se, mantu se mantuvieron quejándose porque ellos querían un día libre o más días yeah, libres. Los empleados eh, um, en, el, en el sitio. En la planta, site o en. en ajá, ajá. Se eh, mantuvieron. Se mantu uh, o, man o continuaron, or be more like, continuaron. Quejándose. quejándose que ellos querían tener un day off, día libre. Ah, continuó quejándose eh, que querían tener un día libre. Ok. So we, so it's a concession because you expect that if you, like, if you're the employee and you, and you give them uh, commemorative gifts and freebies, you would hope that they would be happy, but they're not happy. They want a day off. Okay. All right. Next. Even though the memorial, the sorry, the moral was down because of the economic crisis in the company. Sorry, morale. Yeah. The morale was down because of the econ economic crisis in the company. Employees kept engaged and committed to the work. Why would you say that? So, even though, what is even though? A pesar de, o? Mm -hmm. A pesar de. A, pes oh. Oh, okay. A pesar de. Okay. ¿A pesar de qué? Que la, la, moral. la moral estaba baja. Ajá, que era a pesar Por, que la moral estaba baja. Porque la crisis económica en la compañía. Por la crisis económica de la compañía o en la compañía. Ajá, muy bien, por la crisis económica en la compañía. Los empleados. Se mantuvieron comprometidos con su trabajo. Se, se mantuvieron. What's engaged? Engaged is compromiso. Comprometidos. Comprometidos. Mm, but that's actually more committed. It's more like committed, mm. but it's engaged. Engaged is like a compromiso but it's no compromiso when you get married it's a comprometerse or 
as a responsible in your job? This actually or... means more like involucrado. Mm -hmm. Involucrados. Okay, so. Y say, comprometidos. Committed is. Exactly. Commit, committed. Yes, committed mm -hmm. would be comprometido. So, mm -hmm. se mantuvieron. Involucrados y comprometidos. Invol yes, involucrados y comprometidos. En sus, en sus trabajos. A sus trabajos. A su, tra a su trabajo. Uh -huh. A sus trabajos. Eso. Ajá, a sus trabajos. ¿Ok? ¿Sounds good, everybody? ¿Sounds good? ¿Do we understand this? ¿Hello? We can use uh, all of them while also, even though we can use uh, is our, is up to, to you. You can use while also, even though in the, in the, in, in the scenario. Um, most of the time, but not all the time. You have to kind of, uh, feel it. Like what, what is the, the sentence, like the meaning of the sentence. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good, guys. But what is the key? Because I think that you can use while or also in this in the first sentence, for example. Yeah, like I said, it's it's going to depend. You you guys already know what they mean, right? So, um, fill it out. Fill it out. What it what what it um um what what how it sounds and you know if it makes sense okay 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 all right so what we're going to do is we're going to work on the exercises that i just sent to you in the whatsapp group okay and um i'm going to put you into breakout rooms for you guys to do the exercises and then we'll come back and check as a class. Sounds good? Okay. All right, guys, are you there? Are you there, guys? Because I only see like a third of the class. Okay, so I'm seeing more people now, but I see like half of the class, maybe not even half. Okay. Is everybody there? Jose Salvador, Wendy. Wendy, are you there? Wendy Ramirez? <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Wendy. Okay. Um, can you do me a favor, Wendy? I I need you to change your name so that it, it appears your complete name. Can you do that for me? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. Are you going to be participating? I'm not, teacher. No? No? Mm. Okay. Okay. Jose Salvador? Will you be participating? Yes, not okay. Sandra, Sandra, you will you be participating? Um. What about Ricardo? Will you be participating, Ricardo? Um, hi. Um, actually, I don't think so. Uh, I still have a lot of work to do. Mm, okay. Kevin? Kevin Alfredo? Yes, teacher. Will you be participating? Yes, I'm going to participate. Wonderful. Okay. Um... Okay, let's see. Uh, what about Edwin? 
Edwin Antonio? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, will you be participating? Yes, I do. Okay, wonderful, excellent. Um, okay, and uh, Ulise? Yes, I will be able to. Wonderful. Carlos Ernesto? Carlos Ernesto, will you be participating? No, Carlos. Jose Bernardo? Jose Bernardo, will you be participating? Okay. All right, in that case, I think. Second, guys, I almost finished. Okay. All right, so I think we should have at least um, a partner, one partner, and I'm opening the rooms right now. Edwin Antonio? Edwin Antonio, are you able to join? Okay, perfect. Teacher. Hi. Mm, I said I uh, I will be able to participate. Okay. Um Edwin. Edwin Antonio. Edwin Antonio? Are you, you're not there, Edwin? Okay, apparently he's not, or he's having Perhaps trouble. she has, yes. Yeah, or he's having trouble with the connection because he actually took a long time to, to come in. So he's probably having yes. problems with the connection. So I'll just change you to another group, okay? Yes, okay. All right, perfect, here we go. Okay, gracias, gracias. Yes, uh, I, I think the key is uh, we had to identify when is the correct case to use these express expressions. Cor correct adverb. <laughs> Adverbs, yes. Mm -hmm. Correct it, adverb. Because if you, because I don't know, but uh, I understand wire is uh, uh, 
the use, the common use is mien, uh, mientras, right? Mientras. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce although? Aldo, Aldo, Aldo. Although. 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 Rara pronunciación, teacher, que cuesta. No, you're doing good. You're doing great. Aldo. 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 And, and the other teacher is even, even though. Even though. Even though. Aldo. Aldo. Even though. Okay. For me, the, the, the first, the meeting is mientras in Spanish. Although it, it designs, but we had to use in different contexts. Even though. Mm -hmm. Is the context more positive? I don't know. Okay. It's like, uh, aunque ellos, for example. Yes, aunque ellos, you know, yes, interesting. Mm -hmm. Although we are a small company, we sell at most our uh, hundred cars a month. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah, it is logic. Uh, mm -hmm. Which time we guess our cada vez que avances, uh, you can find vocabulary more technical. Mm -hmm. More yes. technique. More technique. Technical. 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 Yes. Technical. Technical. Okay, okay. Okay, I'll talk. We provide. There is the other uh, words. Uh, uh, do you have doubt? Carlos? I don't. Uh, I don't hear. I I can hear. Do you have the other words? Uh, do you don't understand? Ah, the, the second one, for example. Ah, in, in this paragraph, uh, there is uh, a word. Do you do you don't you? Ah, ah okay. Understand? I I don't understand. For example. Yes. Mm. For me, let me see. Or... Hi guys. Kevin, Alfredo, Carlos. Guys. Hola chicos. ¿Qué pasó? ¿No iban a participar? ¿Ninguno de los dos va a participar? We okay. feel good. Oh, it means it's already come. Mm -hmm. Vamos. Are you guys ready? Hi. Yes. We, we will leave. We just finished in this moment. Ah, wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you, okay. So in that case, I think we're gonna go back to the main room and I'll see you in a moment. Okay. Hi, did you? Sorry, I lost my connection. Sorry? I lost my connection and go out uh, from the breakup room. Okay, um, it's okay. Anyways, everybody's coming back right now. Okay, so not a problem. 
Ok. Okay, guys, so we are going to check our answers. Hmm. Let me try this again. This was weird. Okay, please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes or no? Yes, miss. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's check our answers. So although we are a small company, we sell a, a, almost 100 cars a month. Remember, look at the instructions says there, more than one adverb is possible in some cases. So over here, what would you put? In our group, we decide to put their while. While. While? While, yes. Uh, I think maybe although or even true. Yes, um, I agree with Lorena. For me, even though. Even though for all times. Yeah. Case. Even though. And although, actually, even though and although are very, very similar in, mm -hmm. in meaning. So almost every time that you can use, even though you can use although and vice versa. Okay. Sounds good? Yes. Okay. All right, next. Um, number three. We decide in our work, although? Although? Yes, the same case maybe of number two. Yeah. For me, it's even though too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So even though. Oh. And even though he lacked experience in the field, he became a successful businessman. Okay, next. Although, or even though, although, <laughs> yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's complicated. It's, yeah, because I don't know that, yeah, that is the same or just mm -hmm. the sun, but the sun for me, it is, also, they right. make a sense, yeah, also, yeah. or even though. Yeah, and I agree. Like I said, it usually, although and even though are very close related, so it's pretty much interchangeable. So although or even though he has been working here uh, for six months, he never seems to know what to do. Next. Just say although even though, even though maybe. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Why? Yeah. Could be wild. No. For me, 
in while just in the last one number yes. yes number yes. six while yeah while the company yeah and number five i think that or well, even though for also <laughs> Right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're right. <Have> you wish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, exactly. Sounds good. And finally, number six. While. While. Mm. While. Good. Okay. Good. Why? Right. While, while, the company, <laughs> yeah. while the company is one of the richest in the world, it offers the worst employee recognition system. All right. Questions? What is the difference? And I thought, and even thought, when I need to use that each one in the sentences no there's really not a difference it's interchangeable okay. um so it's like saying i don't know um are there a rule for apply each war um not really not really Okay, mm -hmm. it's okay if I want to use while, while, although, even though it's mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, while it's a little more of a con, a uh, like a more of a concession, like it's like really strong. Like, look at this one. While the company is one of the richest in the world, it offers the worst employee recognition system. So it's like, um, like definitely something that's shocking. But the while the meaning is different that also and even though because while is mientras, mientras que que. La uh, mm -hmm. so the difference and also an even though because also and even though is the same a pesar de mm -hmm. o aunque yeah o aunque. but while while is mientras que mientras que yeah let's let let's not confuse it it's not just mientras, it's mientras que. Mm -hmm. Mientras mm -hmm. que. Yeah. Maybe the difference is uh, when. While is for mm -hmm. a negative consequence uh, or opposite, maybe. They're all concessions. All of these are concessions. So they're all opposite ideas, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, why may why maybe is more pessimist or more um terrible negative. or <laughs> negative mm. Mm -hmm. it, maybe it's, no it's just a, it's a it's a stronger concession mm -hmm. so it's it's just it's a really strong concession so here the company is the richest in the world it's not just that it's rich it's the richest in the world mm -hmm. so it's like you would expect that a company that is one of the richest in the world is going to be really great to work for, right? But it's not that way. It offers the worst employee recognition system. Not just that the, it doesn't just offer a bad recognition system. It's the worst. So we're, we're really contrasting these things. Does that make sense? It's like really contrasted. So this is the richest in the world, but it's the worst reckoning. So do you see like, they're like two opposite ends of the scale. Does that make sense? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Yeah? So it's it's a really um it's a really big contrast. It's like it's it's something that that you would be like you're shocked to find out. It's like like extremes. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, let me stop sharing here. Okay. Um, okay. So please uh, now tell me if you are able to see my screen. Not now. Okay. How about now? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Right now, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Management and motiv motivation. That's our topic. This is a unit uh, unit four. So let's discuss these questions before anything. What are the most common ways in which employees are kept engaged in your company? How are employees engaged in your company? In your company, how are, what are the most common ways that employees are kept engaged? Remember what is engaged? Like uh, committed. Like committed, uh-huh. Good. So? For example, teacher, I'm not sure about in my company, the ways that uh, keep that engagement, the employees is uh, give up bonuses, bonuses. Okay. If, if because we are working uh, uh, with a lot of projects, if you, if you finish the project on time and the customer is uh, agree and is happy with the project, mm -hmm. you take a, a bonuses. I think that this is engaged. Okay. Um, okay, sure. Or not, or no. Not. Well, yeah. so engaged means that you are very involved in it. Um, not motivated necessarily, but, but you're very like, in the project, like, like completely um, absorbed by it. So what is, okay, again, remind me, what is engaged? Comprometido. No, comprometido no. Involucrados. Involucrado. Okay, so how are employees kept engaged in the company? So that means, so in this case, we're talking about like being very participative, right? Um, uh, to really um, be involved in the company. So engage is like another word for involved. Company have a training about a specific topic. For okay. The Good. The, uh, a criteria the, for uh, to uh, her her jobs. So. Their jobs. Okay. Yes. Very good, exactly. So that's that's a that's a good way, like you know, um, getting training, right? So if you get training, then um, you have uh, you're 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 getting training specifically on something that you like, something that you want, 
then you're going to be very participative, right? So you're very involved in it. Good. Another, anything else that your company does? The other way is maybe the feedback that they give you when, when you finish a task or when you finish okay. the job, the feedback that you receive the, the, that your manager or the, the team, mm -hmm. the group team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Excellent. What else? Okay. All right. Why is it important for an organization to have employees who are engaged? Why is this important? Yeah. Because um, for me, because uh, when the employees or co-worker are in, engaged in the company we work for the achieve the different goals or the different activities in the in the company and is a most is more easy when the old team work for the same way and is more easy achieve the different goals Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. What else? Why do you think it's important? Any ideas? Maybe explain uh, the goals or objectives uh, with indicators clear, maybe. Okay, so that's how they can keep them engaged. But the question is, why is it important? Why is this important? Ah, okay. Maybe update the better result. Mm -hmm. Okay. W what kind of results are we uh, trying to obtain? It's depending of the kind of company. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, could be a production or sales. Is depending on the company or objectives, maybe? Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna we have this um, let's say like a survey. Okay. Let's say that this is like a survey. And it says here, how committed do you feel towards your organization? Fill in the following survey. So this is individually. Um, so I want you to uh, um, complete it according to what you think. So this is individual, right? So there's no right or wrong answer here. Okay, um, just a second. Second. Can you guys see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so it says, I have proper access to the right tools in infrastructure at work. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Any questions about that? No question. Okay. 
I feel comfortable with the tasks assigned to me in the organization. Do we understand that? Yes. Okay. I feel valued by the organization. Yeah. I am aware of the link between my job and the organization's mission. So in other words, what role do you play in the mission? I receive constant feedback, training, and coaching at work. I go the extra mile to contribute to the success of my company. I enjoy the company of my teammates and colleagues. Do we understand? Do we understand all of these uh, statements? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, so I want you right now to decide if you totally agree with the sentence, you partially agree, you disagree, or you strongly disagree. Okay, so this is going to be different for everybody. There's no right or wrong answer. Okay, how are you guys doing? Do you have questions about any of the vocabulary? Okay, you guys finished?
Yes, Miss Finish. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I finish. Okay. Um. All right. So, uh, I sent you in the WhatsApp group. I sent you this so that you can have it on hand. And what we're going to do is we're going to be discussing this with your group. Okay. So I'm going to put you into groups. You're going to discuss together with your group your answer. So there's no right or wrong answers. It's just talking about how you feel. Okay. It's just your opinions. And there's no right or wrong answers for your opinions. All right. Sounds good, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So I'm going to make groups right now. Okay, here we go. Um, actually, okay, I'm opening the groups right now. Oh. Yeah, the breaking world believe me. I I think I did, I didn't have the enough time to think about it. <laughs> all right guys sorry um i put every happened? yeah sorry i brought everybody back because um i was supposed to make new groups and i didn't i put you guys back in the same groups that you were before so and there was only two people and i wanted you guys to have like a big group so i'm sorry i'm going to recreate the rooms again So Carlos, why didn't you have enough time? I doesn't have enough time. <laughs> Just 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had more time. Yes, I need more. <laughs> okay, well done. Okay, now you should have enough people. Okay, here we go. Let's open the groups now. Yes, tomorrow. Ah, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. tomorrow. Totally is the last month. agree. In, in the first, totally agree. You need to do the platform. Yes, tomorrow ah, also. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. We I can think... share the. Lorena. No, I, I cannot. Lorena, you, you can do it. Ladies first. You can do it. Mm -hmm. No. I can share with you if, if you want. Mm -hmm. I think okay. it's a trick for the human resource. The survey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's recording us. <laughs> <laughs> Or they don't have the link to to the class, so you can feel free. No, <laughs> fail of the questions. <laughs> My time has come. Yes. Okay. Um. Who want uh, who wants share the screen? Osman. 
I am before I am aware of the link between my job and the organization's mission. Um, number three. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, it, it's like the it, it's like the evaluation in my case for example i evaluate uh, my different supervisor and i don't know because i i i i like the uh, in my in my case i i i don't like uh, make the bad evaluate but i put in the many points, uh, number three, and number three is that uh, no good, no bad. Okay. Yeah. Number five, yes? Yes. I receive constant feedback. In, 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 in my case, in this point is number four. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. During the case, every day is a training day or something oh, like that, man. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Yeah. There is something new to learn every day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, because in, in the company we have the different um, um, not only uh, feedbacks, uh, we have a many training and the different uh, we have in in constant uh, okay. uh, in in okay sorry uh, we no have the different yeah, yeah we have the different different training in the different areas in the company yeah. Number six. I go the extra mile to contribute to the success of my company. Number five. <laughs> oh, five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, in my case, we work um, uh based on goals because when we reach some goals we get a bonus or vacation or something like that for my team for that reason we were motivated to go an extra mile ever yeah i i think that in in my case in well in the company uh all the time says uh uh, that we need to uh, give the extra mile in, in, in the world, in the yeah. time, in the different activities. I don't know. Yes. But I like it. I like my work. Yeah. And yeah. this point for me is number four. <laughs> okay. My case is difficult, but probably <laughs> it's like between four and three. <laughs> okay. like that. But I will say four. <laughs> okay. the last one I enjoy the company of my teammates and colleagues number four um, the yes, job is too. better when you have a good team so if you have a good team it's better if you feel motivated you feel fun and you enjoy your work it's enjoy cool. your job it's already yeah for me, number four too. Yes, me too. Yeah, I think that uh, we try to enjoy with your different co-workers, uh, with your team, because I say to my team work, uh, well, you, you be in the work uh, many hours in the day. You yeah. be with the coworkers most time that uh, than your family, and I think that you try to enjoy not only your work, uh, enjoy it with your partners, uh, enjoy it with your co co workers or your teamwork because mm -hmm. 
Eh, es eh, most relax your work. In our case, in our team, uh, one of my parents have a, a house in, I don't remember how do you say, finca. And so it's, it's bigger, there are horse, bull. And so once a month, we prepare a roast beef, una carnita asada. Oh. And we spend time together, yeah. I have been working with my team already seven years, so they become such my family. Most of them are women from 50 years, yeah, old, but but yeah. they are really nice. Buena onda la señora. Yeah, I think that we uh, we try to learn to meet with the different uh, employees or or co-workers because it's, it's very important not only uh, talk uh, about your work or not only it's not only uh, work plus work uh, is uh, it's more easy work with you uh, meet with your with your different um friends or co-workers and the different activities like that you uh, uh, say in one time a month you meet with your with your teamwork yes Okay, all right, guys and girls. Uh, did you have enough time to discuss? More, more or less, teacher. I, I think okay. I think we we needed more time. You needed more time. Yes, the conversation was interesting with my co-work, <laughs> my uh, classmates. <laughs> okay, yes, all right. Yes. And the rest Very of you, do you need more time? Yes, because we discussed just three, three. Okay, okay, no problem then. I will, um, I will open up the the groups. How much more time do you need? Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, for me, five five minutes. minutes. Okay, five minutes. Five minutes. I don't know. I don't know what is the opinion of the rest, classmate. Maybe I don't know because just yeah, yeah. it's okay. That, yeah, it's okay. Five, five, ten, come on, five, ten minutes, ten, <laughs> twenty, <laughs> half, a, half an hour. The topic is is interesting. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, it's an interesting topic. <laughs> okay, it's an interesting topic. Yes. I'm curious now. I definitely want to be in, in those groups. Yes. It's, it's inter I think it's an interesting topic because uh, all, 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 all of you, todos, no so todo, todos, all of us, we, we, are, of us. we are employees, all. Right. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then okay. 10 minutes and one six to talk yeah. about the light. <laughs> okay, five minutes. Five minutes. 
because uh, I have to I have to continue with the rest of the class. Okay, so five okay. minutes. Here we go. Nos estamos, so, nos estamos desahogando, teacher. Yeah, ya veo, ya veo. Uh -huh. Yeah. We take, take off uh, our frustration. Yeah, frustration. The, whole, uh, the whole week. Va a ser una, eh, esos minutos van a ser una terapia para nosotros. Okay. All right, fine. Hey, All okay. Right. okay, here we go. I'm opening the rooms again. Four. Yes, you were in the number four, exactly. Um, can you share screen? Okay. Please. There is. Tens. And number four, um, I wear of the of the link between between my job and the organization's mission. Yes, um, what does it mean? Uh, I am wear is consciente. Advertido, te dicen. I'm wearing. Yeah, how do you say consciente? I soy consciente. Or. Conscient? No. <laughs> okay, I know the. Oh, I know uh, about the. the link between my job and organization mission. Yes, because always I try to work uh, good or about the, about uh, my activities during the, during the day or mm -hmm. during the week, always try to to do uh, good my work, so I I know about the responsibility responsibility in my job. Okay. And in number five, uh, yes, always I I have uh, I receive feedback or training about me about my activities, about my obligation in my, in my, in my, in my work. And about number six, I got the extra mile to contribute to success of my company. And that means uh, yes, I, I, I got the extra mile to contribute in uh, a successful, uh, a success about the, about my uh, company. And number, okay. finally, I enjoy the company. Uh, of my teammates and colleagues, colleagues. How do you say the last uh, words? In a short man. In a short college, colleagues or not? Colegas or no? Sé cómo se pronuncia. Teacher, can you help us? We, we need the pronunciation about the last word in the number six, seven. Uh, 
Okay, I will okay. Uh, try to to get it in. Give me a second. Work with a customer, yeah. So um, I'm totally agree with this because um, I constant have feedback uh, from the clients, from the supervisor and the um, managers. And sometimes, uh, or many times, we receive a training and coaching about some um, could be uh, the how to use this the systems and other times for any process that we change in the company mm -hmm. okay you're totally agree yes okay and you, Emerson, you work, Emerson, do you work in a production, yeah? In a yeah. And the in the department. department. Sorry? The quality. quality the quality department. department. Um, I am our point in the department. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. Everybody helped. Everybody helped you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quality department, yes. yes. But in yeah. yes, in the process or 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 all of them process material ropes and packages. Yes. I understand you because I worked before in that department. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's difficult. The situations. Yes. De acuerdo, porque tenemos que hacer eso y y lo hicimos con motivación, pues, o sea, no me pesó la verdad, no me pesó, entonces. Es diferente, cuando Lorena dice, es cierto, o sea, si el ambiente es malo, se va a desgastar uno y se siente más pesado el trabajo. Yeah. Bien pesado se siente. Pero bueno. No, es es lo que le gusta, also, also, you, also, you feel sick, yeah, because it's, yes. it's, my, it's my case now. Yes. I try to make, uh, give the extra mile all the time, but... <laughs> uh, well, yeah, all the time. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can find uh, maybe bad and sick, but all is in your mind for the same reason. You are very yes. stressful. Yes, I know. I know that. Enough. And what do you think, Juan Carlos? Because you are in up of the structure. <laughs> yes, I try to motivate uh, uh, my, my, my team. Mm -hmm. All the time, all the time, uh, have a good attitude, um, uh, support in in the jobs, uh, the jobs, for example, and try the the, the take the the best uh, the, the the best the best team that they all have, yeah. Hi guys. Yo sé quién nos está viendo. Hi. Hello. Jose Carlos, your microphone is turned off. Oh, sorry. I said we finished, miss. Oh, yes. okay. You finished already. Okay, yeah. perfect. Perfect. Uh, but you guys can continue talking. You don't have to be in silence, right? You guys, the more practice in English, it's better. Okay. Okay. Um. So, uh, 
I was just going to go check on the other groups and I'll return back to the main room, okay? Okay, perfect. Got it. I'm not sure because in the whole in the whole trip I spent uh resting <laughs> just I, I I got some snap there nap there. And guys, are are you finished or do you need more time? Uh Wendy is not participating right now. Just she will participate before me. After okay. me. So so do you need more time or is that okay? And uh, to be honest, yes, because we want to hear the, her. We want to hear her. Okay, so when is she going to be able to participate? No, no. She she will participate after me. Oh, okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. when, Wendy, are, are you available right now? Are you sure she's going to be able to participate? Um, to be honest, I, I didn't hear her. Oh, okay. Then she's probably um, not there. Okay. okay. Um, so the other groups are finished. So I'm going to return you guys to the main room. Okay. 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 So that was the unique uh, situation that I met. We are not doing... In this case, yes. I think that we are not enjoying or not happy, but that's, the rest of the time, yes, it depends, partially agree, because it depends on the situation that we have in, in the daily routine or daily job that we have, maybe. <laughs> are you guys finished um, ventilating? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> okay. Finally. <laughs> Perfect. I'll see you in the main room then. We leave the stress. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 All right. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Thank okay. You. Okay, wonderful. All right. For some reason, I have I have a feeling that it's it may not be the best idea to ask you guys for your opinions. <laughs> I I um maybe it's better if we keep it like this, okay? <laughs> but my question is, did you um did you uh what's the word um were you able to just let it go and ventilate and you feel good now yeah definitely <laughs> okay let it go <laughs> for today yeah we need for more today time. yeah okay. for today tomorrow okay. is another day Okay, okay. Well, the good thing is that tomorrow's the last day of work. So you'll be you'll be less stressed for the last day of work. Okay, good, good. All right. Any questions that you would like to ask or and or would you like to make a comment? So I'll just I'll leave it as volunteer. Would you like to make a comment? I would like to 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 say something uh, mm -hmm. but no about the this survey. Okay. But maybe about the platform. Uh, okay. I don't know if we have time or if you are able to help us to mm -hmm. fill the last exercise tomorrow, maybe, and dedicate maybe some minutes to, to finish and accomplish the last unit, just because maybe some of us <laughs> didn't do it already. So 
we need some help. But I don't know. Just you, I ask you want help or time? Yeah. Time in tomorrow in this class, and you help us. The whole group. Okay, I can help you on like if you have questions, I can definitely help you. Um and I might even have, let me just check. I was thinking maybe in something that you can share the screen and fill all together the whole answer of the lab unit. Just to um, be sure the whole people finish the, the whole units. No, actually, I I actually just, most, just, most I, people have finished, actually. Um, most people have finished, in fact, um, yeah, I, I noticed that many, like the majority of people actually had even finished the whole platform since the beginning of the uh, last week. So I think just a few might be missing some. And I can help you with activities. That's not a problem. But it probably wouldn't be the best idea to take the mm -hmm. whole class when everybody, like the majority of you guys already finished but if you have questions a specific question um an activity and certain exercise that you're not sure about you're having problems with for sure tomorrow i will have um time to um be able to help you with that that's for sure okay 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 thank you all right i had a question yes yes uh tomorrow is the last day it is or... okay Okay. Sorry, sorry. Tomorrow finish the the module? Yes, tomorrow we finish the module. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I think in the Monday is the last day, but uh, you said, yeah, no problem. Tomorrow um, finish the yes, we are thinking that is Monday or 30, 30, October 30, so it's in the platform and the module but i'm not sure but it's tomorrow it's no okay. because <laughs> yeah because we finished we, we started on monday we started on monday and it's for it's it's uh 50 hours and we haven't oh, okay. missed we haven't missed any any class at all we it's not like we're not making up anything like we haven't had any holidays or anything like that so we are going to finish the 50 hours exactly on Friday. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. thank uh, you. On the platform, sometimes it says a different uh, a different um, date because that's for administration. It's because um, it allows administration to work on or in the platform, um, taking the, the grades and everything. Um, until that time but it's not because it's open until that time for you guys does that make sense yeah because i for example me as a teacher i have to give your grades and i have to report your grades on um the next day after after we finish class so saturday basically so as saturday at eight in the morning when uh, administration goes to work my report has to be in so um they just come in and they check that everything is in order so they have until monday to check that but i have to give in the report on okay. saturday okay does that make sense yes thank you yes, you're welcome sorry. okay all right guys we're gonna use this last few minutes wisely Okay, so transitions of con concession. So before we looked at subordinates, okay, now we're gonna look at the word transitions. Do you guys understand the word transitions? Is the same in Spanish, transition? It use more. Yeah. Okay. So you guys already know the word concession, right? Because we've been talking about concession. Does it, what's another word for concession? Contrast. Mm -hmm. A contrast. Good. 
it's like a very unexpected contrast. That's a concession. So um, we've been looking at subordinate uh, uh, concessions. Um, oh, sorry, better said subordinate adverbs for concession. That's the best word to say it. So which we have looked at is even though, although, and while. Those words, if you notice, are joining two clauses in one sentence, right? Two clauses in one, sorry, it, it connects two clauses in one sentence. Transitions, what they do is connect two sentences or two paragraphs that show contrast. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So before we looked at subordinate adverbs that show concession, and those are connecting two clauses in only one sentence. But this one is con these transitions are connecting um, two two sentences or two paragraphs. So expressions, some of the expressions that um, we can use are certainly, naturally, of course, it is true, to be sure, Granted, okay, and with these ones, we have to make sure, we have to be careful that we use a comma. We have to use a comma after the words, after. Um, so use a comma after these words if they are at the beginning of a sentence. So basically you're going to say certainly comma, naturally comma, of course comma, it is true comma, to be sure comma. That's how we're going to be using them. And an example of this is this, to be sure, to be sure comma, try to promote good relations at work. So here we're using the comma right after because the transition is at the beginning. Now, obviously this sentence by itself doesn't make sense. To be sure, try to promote good relations at work. That doesn't make sense. But if we consider the fact that transitions connect two ideas, that means that, or two sentences, that means that this one connects to the, the one before it, okay? Use a comma before and after, before and after, and the transition if it is between two clauses. Okay, so it's possible to put the transition in the middle of a sentence. If it's in the middle of a sentence, it would look like this. Feeling valid at, at the organization is, of course, a crucial uh, factor for employees' engagement to grow. Okay, and because it's in the middle of the sentence, we're going to be putting comma before and after. Does that make sense? Yes. Questions? No questions? No question. No question.
Okay. All right. In that case, since there's no questions, um, well, actually, we're going to stop there because of time. Yeah, that's pretty much the time. So okay. Um, yeah. Meaning of going to. Sorry. What's the meaning of granted? Oh, that's a good question. Um, granted. The word granted means um. It's like provided that. Provided that. You know, provided that. Mm. Authorized for that or something. Sorry, could you repeat that? Mm, to authorize uh, to do something. Or... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, very good. Um, yeah. So, granted that or provided that, like, so yes, that um, let's say that you're let let's uh. Basically, this is saying in the case that you are provided or you are given the permission. Okay. 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 Yeah. So if I say to you, for example, um, eh, I'm look uh I'm looking I um I'm looking um for a loan for my car. Granted I will no better said I'm I'm looking for better said I'm looking for a loan period granted I will I will proceed to buy a car. So in other words, saying like, in the case that I am given the loan, I will proceed to buy the car. Does that make sense? Yes, no? In this yes. case, grant to substitute the buy? Substitutes what? The buy. Buy? Mm, uh, no, no, no. Granted means that you're given the authorization or the uh, or the. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I can say I'm looking for a loan. I'm looking for a loan. Estoy buscando un un um. la palabra? Un préstamo, right? Granted, I will buy my new car. Okay. So, in so in a in caso in caso de 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 ser otorgado, obtener, ajá, de a en comprar mi carro, mi nuevo carro. Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense now? Yes. Right. Okay. So it's basically saying, like, imagining that this situation happens. That's what it means. Like that it that you are, yeah. That it that the situation happens. So let's imagine that like, imagining that this happens, then this will happen. It's usually used kind of like a like a conditional. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to finish off with our attendance. So let's quickly do that. So you guys can go ahead and and uh, relax for tonight. Um, in, no, sorry. We're starting with Ana Lorena Lobato.
¿Cuál es el techo? a Carlos Alberto Domínguez, Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda, Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero, Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña, Present teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix, Present. Eh, Eulises Torres Torres. Present. Eliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Qui eh, Quiñones. Present teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. José Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Osman Atilio Serrano. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, Miss. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Sandra Vigail Bonilla Cano. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Eh, can you turn on the camera, Wendy? No puedo, teacher. Hoy estoy en un lugar que no, 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 no puedo ahorita. Ok. okay. Eh, Mira Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Present. Ok, thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Um, Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Eduardo Antonio Mij eh, Magaña Monterrosa. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be it. Don't forget tomorrow is our last class. Don't be, uh, don't be, um, don't be late and don't miss it. Um, tomorrow we're going to have the, um, the survey you guys remember we always do a survey on the last day of class and we need to do it tomorrow um, I'm not sure exactly what the time is they haven't given me the schedule so that means that you're going to have to be um, there on time because that is actually part of the requirements from in support for you to guide to to pass to the next um, the next um module you have to complete that that survey okay so uh please connect on time so that we are able to do the survey together and um wendy today is your day for the 101 can you stay puede quedarse wendy o o no es posible okay se puede Okay. Bah, okay, de acuerdo. All right, guys, so that will be all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and don't forget to complete the path platform if you haven't yet done so. All right, Thank take you. care. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Um Carlos, do you have a question? No, teacher, sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you. Night. No problem. Good night. Ernest, uh, Carlos Ernesto, do you have a question? Okay. All right, Wendy. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos? Bien, teacher, por aquí un poquito más de salud, por eso no me he conectado así, encendido. Mm. Mm, es que estoy mala de la presión.
Oh, lo lamento. Sí, también todo el día he estado bien mal, ha dicho. Wow, uh, pero, pero no estaba incapacitada. Pues fíjense que tuve un, que se me subió la presión nada más, pero me pongo mal, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow, que lo lamento. Sí, pero, por, eso pero es... no, no. Uh -huh. por eso no abrí la cámara, Ticha, porque me siento mal ahorita. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. um, pero pero um, se siente suficientemente bien para poder quedarse y para la, la sesión. Sí, Ticha. Sí, ok. Okay. Sí, sí, ya ah. me está pasando, gracias a Dios, ya me tomé los medicamentos. Ok, qué bueno, qué bueno. Ok, um, quiero ver cómo vamos en la plataforma. En plataforma, fíjese que, no sé si ha, se ha trabajado en la plataforma de, en esta semana. Eh, sí, estuve haciendo unas cosas, pero le voy a ser bien honesto, en unas oraciones se me han olvidado ahorita y tengo que revisar las clases porque okay. se me ha olvidado cómo, cómo hacer los, la, las oraciones. Ok. Sí, lo uh -huh. que, la razón por qué le preguntaba es porque um, hasta como tipo creo que martes de esa semana eh, no, bueno, todavía no le daba la nota. O sea, es, vi que había completado todo pero, uh -huh. um, pero con la nota que tenía hasta ese momento, no le, no le daba. Déjeme revisar ahorita. Uh -huh. Porque eh, le daba 78 y necesita 80. Está bien, dicho. Entonces, déjeme ver. Sí, cabal. Eh, hasta el momento todavía... Eh, todavía le falta un poquito. Entonces, yo le sugiero que trabaje donde tiene el, la nota un poquito más baja es en el midterm y el final, el final. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. um, como eso de hecho son los que tienen una ponderación más alta, si usted uh -huh. hace tan solo un ejercicio de esos que, que tuviera una nota más, 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 uh, más alta, ya le da para pasar. Está bien dicho. Ajá, entonces eh, trate, de, bueno, usted puede ver ahí la, la, el progreso, ¿verdad? Usted puede sí, ver sí. su progreso. Ok, perfecto. Entonces ahí usted vea con solo, o sea, con solo que, que, le, que le suba arriba de 80, estamos bien. Um, Está bien dicho. Uh -huh. y pero si quiere ser más excelente pero con mínimo 80 es lo único ok, okay. Eh, no sí, sé estoy si... pendiente, sí, estuve, estuve revisando pero sí se me ha olvidado cuando lo de los verbos se me ha olvidado ahorita tengo que repasar de nuevo ¿Cuál, ¿cuáles verbos? Eh, los sustantivos eh, donde eh, quiero ver como la tarea de 2.4 parece que, que, hay que, que hay que hacer. Lo anoté, pero no sé. Ahorita como me duele la cabeza, no me acuerdo. Pero okay. es donde no, no he complementado, teacher. Esa se me ha olvidado ahorita. Ah, ok. Déjeme uh -huh. ver si puedo encontrarlo. Dos punto algo, dice. Sí, dos punto y algo. Mm. donde hay que hay que complementar las oraciones del del ING o no sé qué era dicho verbo paz déjeme ver Pero, pero no era los, los condicionales. Porque es, es, es. The, the, third, the third condition, the first and the third conditional. Sí, sí. Ok, eh, por, ¿cuál de todos? Porque 
Estaba la fir el first conditional y, y, el, y el third conditional. Los dos, para serle sincera. Ok. Bueno, mmm, mañana voy a hacer un repaso, de hecho, de todos los conditionals. Está bien dicho. Pero, eh, puede ser que sea muy tarde para usted hacerlo hasta mañana, no sé. Entonces, yo le sugiero que si puede hacerlo entre hoy y mañana, por lo menos unos cuantos, un, un, unos cuantos ejercicios de... de de el, ¿cómo se llama? Del, del examen final o el midterm sería mejor uh -huh. para que por lo menos le llegue a 80. Y después de eso se puede quedar ya haciendo los demás ejercicios como extra, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos ya tendrá el 80%, que es lo que más okay. me preocupa para que, que no tengamos problemas con eso. Ya se le, le, si le, si le sube de 80, excelente, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos 80. Um, y el first conditional solo tiene que acordarse que es, el first conditional sería el, um, ya sea el, el simple present más un, en, en el, Clause, en el otro clause sería un modal, por ejemplo, will, um, might, may, can, ¿verdad? o un imperativo, uh -huh. que sería solamente el verbo directo, like go, sleep, eat, drink, ¿ok? Entonces, uno de los dos, ¿ok? Y en... Uh -huh. Y en el tercero, um, ahí sí va a tener que usar el would, ¿ok? Entonces, okay. Um, would y después tiene que uh, saber cómo utilizar el, el los, past, los past participles, porque necesita uh -huh. usar have más un past participle en uno de los clauses y también el otro es um, el, um, el present progress, so el present Uh, mm -hmm. el present, sorry, el past perfect, la cosa, past perfect. Entonces, y los dos, las dos estructuras necesitan utilizar el, el past participle. Entonces, tiene que repasar el past participle. Está bien dicho. Mm -hmm. Ok. Sí, mañana cuando venga me voy a revisar de nuevo. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Y mañana de todos modos yo hago un repaso para que pueda ser más fácil. Está bien dicho, muchas gracias. Ok. No, 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 tranquila, Marisela, le agradezco mucho también que su compromiso, que a pesar que se sentía mal, se conectó y todo, así que le, y, y hasta todavía se quedó después de la clase, así de que le agradezco por eso. Está bien, Tiche, muchas gracias. Ok, bueno, pues, ¿alguna otra cosa con la que le pueda ayudar? No, solamente, Tiche, usted es muy amable, Tiche. Ok, bueno, pues entonces cualquier cosa que estamos a la orden, Marisela. Cuídense mucho y espero que siga mejor. Muchas gracias, bendiciones, Chicha. Dios me la bendiga. Gracias. Pues buenas, buenas noches. noches. Buenas noches, Chicha.